लेजेंड वेन ई थिंक्स ही थिंक्स फॉर टू थ्री हंड्रेड ईयर्स सो एंड पीपल के नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट्स हाउ यू नो द पीपल इन दोज डेज इंक्लूडिंग द ओलमाज दे शूड फतवाज बिकॉज इट इज बियॉन्ड रेमिट ऑफ ऑर्डनरी पीपल टू इवन इमेजिन दैट वॉट आर लेजेंड थिंक्स एंड आई विल आई वुड से दैट had sir sayed not been there then this community's position would have been worst i would imagine whatever education we have today uh, at least in the higher education you go around the world in last 40 50 years you will find people who have come out of aligarh so i can't imagine what could be the situation of muslims would have been in the subcontinent had sir sayed not been there so i think he was allah ki taraf se he was sent uh, you know a revivalist because uh, the muslims world over when during their heydays were known because of their educational prowess and that in last 2 300 years ever since uh, muslims were colonized right from algeria to uh indonesia that education had totally been wiped off so very earlier on 200 years back sir sayed rahmatullah alai thought about that so i think uh, he is a revivalist uh, as we call in our uh, parlance mujaddid you know where every 1000 years allah subhanahu wa taala sends one revivalist uh in 5600 sir sai sir sarind rahmatullah uh, who's uh, you know during the time of akbar whenever there is a decadence in the islamic thought process one such personality comes up so i i would not rate him anything less than the mujaddids who have come so you can imagine now you you can see what has happened in 200 years see you don't edit this which i am going to tell you this is responsibility of the aligarhians unfortunately they have never come out of that elig so called elig sphere i am not an eligarian but i have got a very close association with aligarh much more than these so called eligs who are moving around across the world my grandfather came to study there in 1922 so in those days almost 90 years back we in gujarat knew what aligarh was and i remember my grandfather used to always tell me mia aligarh jao tum but we couldn't but i sort of compensated when i spent 40 days in jamaat in aligarh then i could imagine what aligarh is i spent almost 40 days in aligarh university i stayed in most of these ss hall and you know then i could imagine what aligarh is it's not a university it's a movement and to restore that movement it was the responsibility of the aligarhians and uh, i'm absolutely not ashamed to say this that they have not restored that responsibility i mean they could have done much more rather than just urus kind of you know celebrating every year the birth and you know every part mostly in the arab world you find uh, jidda riyadh dubai abu dhabi you know all those places they gather 15 20 and they have uh, aligarh uh, sir sayed day beyond that they have not done anything it is collectively our responsibility also my responsibility that we have not been able to produce one sir sayed in 200 years so it is collective responsibility of the muslims of the aligarhians rather than the government had we rose to the occasion then the government of the day would have come up so i think the responsibility lies with us that we did not spread that word of sir sayed rahmatullah alaihi my first message would be to the aligarhian that every single aligarhian i am absolutely have no hesitation in saying the aligarhians are apart now it is their responsibility each and everybody don't wait for an ngo don't wait for institution every single individual starts the movement the way Ali, sir sayed started main akela hi tha raye manzil ki taraf log chalte gaye karwa banta gaya he was alone 
and in that situation you can imagine 200 years back what was the infrastructure but that man had you know a fire in the belly and he started i think now there are millions of aligs if each one takes up that call let people coming or not i will start i will teach two students three students five students if that starts then i think this is chirag you know the the light suraj se suraj nahi jalaya ja sakta you can't burn from a sun to sun but from that candle that light so i would request all the aligarians wherever they are in the world each one starts in his own way whatever they can do start a small nursery school teach somebody i think that's the way forward and then muslims should understand that education is the only thing which will give you that place of respect we have lot of problems in the country across the world but we need to prioritize now which is the most important thing and in my opinion the most important thing which sir sayed recognized 200 years back i think even today that is our problem ek hath mein science ek hath mein quran ek hath mein quran ek hath mein computer so i think still we are where we were 200 years back okay let's draw the line and move from here because education is one single thing if we have that everything else will fall in place that fire i think the most important thing should be projected in the film should be that fire in the belly that was see that is the most important thing which that man is what is sir sayed for me one man but he had that fire inside can i i want my community because you know those were the exactly similar situation if you take the time of sir sayed you know the defeated psychology of muslims exactly we are in that same situation now but we need somebody with that fire and he comes up he comes ahead so that fire should be projected more than anything else